benefit is by eliminating redundant data, duplication of effort, I'm improving efficiencies. If I can take all of that integrated information and make it available <coughs> on demand, it improves on the communication lags. So data in integration. Data is entered only once, that's one of the key things, into a single database and then used throughout the organization. Okay? So we know this. The majority of the ERP systems do this. By doing that, you'll also get efficient business processes that has a reduced cost than those in an unintegrated <coughs> systems. Okay? So that's quite, a, quite simple too. So we're also looking at easier global integration. So it integrates, importantly, people with information while eliminating the need to update and repair many separate computer systems. So we almost see like a, everyone's heard the term homecoming. It's almost like a homecoming. It's the promise of what, are, what systems have been promising for, for an age. It's like a homecoming. It's, it's increasingly that's being realized in a far better manner. Okay, so it allows the management of operations, not just monitoring. Okay, there's a fundamental difference between monitoring processes and actually managing those, those operational processes. Use of best practice. Why do we mention best practice? Because everyone claims to have best practice. There's generally accepted accounting practice, which is now turned into IFRS. Okay. South Africa changed over from GARP to IFRS uh, not too long ago. Um, and there is best practice for manufacturing, best practice for purchasing. <coughs> In fact, there is no single best practice for an organization. <coughs> There's right practice in an organization. But right practice is right for that specific organization. So what that also speaks about is the flexibility that ERP systems have got to have in order to ensure that they can actually align the processes of the ERP system for what's right for that specific organization. And this is where a lot of the business analysts analysis comes into it, is ensuring that alignment. Okay. Reducing costs and improve, improving operational efficiency. How do I do that? If I know that I need to match my <coughs> demand and supply as I have stipulated in my system to control those parameters for me, and so many customers order, and based on that, it's driving what I should be purchasing and manufacturing to meet that supply and demand. Think of it like a scale. Okay? I'm reducing costs because I'm not stocking items I don't have to stock, which means I've got to write it off as bad stock in a few years' time. I'm not storing it without not needing it. I'm only making items that I need to make. Okay? And I'm improving operational efficiency by being able to process integrated across multiple disciplines within your organization ensuring that I can actually lower my outstanding debtors day so I'm improving my cash cycle in my business 